Hello and welcome to another episode of my Productivity Mastery Series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I want to talk to you about a quote that is often attributed to Aristotle but actually comes from a gentleman called Will Durant. And that is, we are re what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act but a habit. Now, we are what we repeatedly do. This is such a true sentence. Now, let me give you an example of how you see this operating in the day-to-day -day world. You will come across things like, oh, she's a runner, or he's a bodybuilder, or he's good at math, she's good at writing. Now, this is what is meant by we are what we repeatedly do. This is how we label people often by their skills, what they are good at. But that wasn't something that they suddenly became overnight. It is something that they took an act, took a decision to become a runner. And they run frequently and often get involved in marathons and half marathons on a weekend. You know, people who are famous for being very, very good at Excel, it was not an accident. They weren't born excellent at Excel. They took the decision to become good at Excel. And that's a kind of key, comp key part that you need to keep in your mind because if that's all it takes, i.e. you have an interest in becoming something, then you can become that kind of person. So let me give you an example. Now on a negative side, for example, we get people, oh, he's not very healthy, or he's a very good drinker, or she's not very good with her time. Now these labels might be negative, but what actually happens is, is they are doing something repeatedly that's causing us to feel that is the kind of person they are. So if you want to change your life, if you desire change within your life, then all you need to do is to adopt the better behavior, the good behavior. Now, of course, that's very easy for me to say. That's very easy for me to tell you if you want to be, be known as a runner, then just start running. Well, yeah, I understand that becoming, in theory, becoming a runner is easy, but as a runner myself, I know it's not very hard. I know when it's freezing cold outside, it's raining or it's snowing, the last thing you want to do is go out for a run. Our brain is excellent at coming up with excuses for not doing something we really should be doing. But let's just take a simpler example. Let's say that within your office, you have decided to really get to grips with learning Microsoft Excel. So what do you have to do to do that? Well, you need to repeatedly practice learning Excel. And we live in a wonderful time today because all you need to do is go onto YouTube and you can get so many tutorials on learning Excel. A couple of weeks, one hour a night, and you're going to be pretty good at learning Excel. One of the things within my own community here in Korea, people know me as being very good at using Keynote. Now, the thing is, I've been using Keynote since it first came out, round about 2003, 2004. I love the application. I don't even just use it for presentations. I actually use it for designing ideas for logos and for uh, thumbnails, all sorts of things that I can create in Keynote. It's a fantastic tool. And I've spent years learning how to use it. Every time a new version comes out, I quickly go in and I learn what the new features are. And that's what you need to do. If you want to become better at productivity and time management, there isn't a reason, no reason in the world why you could be not good at time management and productivity, but you need to start learning about the fundamentals, the basics, like time is actually something that you can manage despite what people say. Your time is there, it's 24 hours. The part that you're managing is what you do in that 24 hours. So for example, if you wake up in the morning and you want to have a morning routine, then all you need to do is create your morning routine and then try and narrow it down to, with it to less than one hour. My morning routine, for example, takes 30 minutes. I do it religiously every morning. But knowing that it takes 30 minutes means that all I have to do is say, okay, I need to leave the house at 7 a.m. I need to have a shower, I need to get changed. So I will wake up at six. That gives me 30 minutes for my morning routine, 30 minutes for my shower and out the door. 
And that's really all it is. And then you just practice it every day. Now, when I don't do my morning routine, I feel really uncomfortable. And this is what it means by we are what we repeatedly do. You need to be repeatedly practicing whatever it is you want to become. If you want to get fit and healthy, <clears throat> if you want to become known as somebody who is fit and healthy, all you need to do is make sure that you're doing exercise and you're eating healthily regularly every single day. It's not that difficult. The concept is simple. You just have to become intentional about doing it. So when we go back to that quote, we are what we repeatedly do, then excellence then is a not an act but a habit. That's the key. What we need to be doing is we need to be turning whatever it is we want to become excellent at, excel at, we need to be doing that frequently. We need to make it a habit. It's something that we do. And it's something I wrote about in my this week's learning note for my for the people in my learning center. If you've ever taken an online course, you should be getting this email every Wednesday where I give you a learning point. And I wrote about this this week, about the importance of deciding who you want to be, deciding how you want people to see you, how you want to be labeled it's an unfortunate term, but unfortunately, as human beings, that's what we do. We label people. You know, he is successful. She is a really nice person. Now, how do you become that? Well, if you want to be regarded as being a really nice person, no, she is a really nice person, you actually practice the art of being nice. If you want to be known as a successful person, well, the first thing to do is how are you going to define success? Because everybody's definition of success is different. And then you need to practice the steps, the, the habit of being successful. You know, doing a great job at whatever you do as your work. You know, going out and becoming a really, really healthy, fit person who's practicing in races every single weekend. Whatever it is, you need it to become a part of who you are. That's the key. Become, make it a part of who you are. Hopefully that's explained that quotation. It's probably cleared up where the quotation originally comes from. It's not actually Aristotle. It is Will Durant. And more importantly, it's given you the keys to understanding that you can become anybody you want to become, but you have to met, practice the art of being whatever that is, whether it's to be fit and healthy, whether that's to be a good at whatever you do in your occupation, whether that's being a nice person, whatever it is, you need to figure out what those daily action steps are that you need to take to become that kind of person. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I'd like to introduce you to a brand new way of managing your tasks. Now, this system is called the Time Sector System. It's designed to do away with your projects, to do away with your goals, or at least do away with them from your time management system, your to-do list manager, and instead focuses on when you are going to do the task. Now, the reason for this is from a research that I did for the whole of last year, figuring out why most people were really struggling with their tasks, getting their tasks done on a day-to-day -day basis. What I discovered was they were managing their tasks by project. And the biggest problem with managing tasks by project is, first of all, deciding whether a task is a project or not. Two or more tasks becomes a project, which means that you end up with a huge project list. And once you have a huge project list, just managing that list takes up an awesome amount of time. Time you could well better be spent actually doing the work, not organizing. The time sector method is designed to do away with all that processing so that the only decision you have to make is when are you going to do a task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired, how urgent a task is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. So the whole clip, this I have on a brand new course that gives you the step-by-step -step approach of setting up the time sector method. It's a revolutionary course. It's designed for the 21st century. For all the inputs that we get today, all the emails, the Slack messages, and everything else that comes our way, 
It's designed to deal with that, to manage that so you stay focused on what you have identified are your most important tasks for the day. I'd love to see you in the course. Full details of the course are in the show notes below. I'd love you to check it out. Join me in the course and let's take your productivity to a greater level than you've ever, ever imagined. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I just wish you all a very, very productive week.